my loves, how are you all doing today? I hope the hustle and bustle of life isn't stressing you out too much. Mm -hmm. You know how life can be sometimes. Um, <laughs> we bring you sweet things today. My name is Esther Biade. I'm Victoria Gure. I am Ola Shubomi, Dorodola. And together we bring you the, the time. time. <laughs> okay, ladies, let's talk. So um, I'm a big fan of drama like TV dramas, okay. especially medical dramas. I was going to oh, say drama okay. queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, already thinking rom coms and all that. So, just so you know, my name could also be Dr. Esther. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I watch a lot of Grey's Anatomy, The Good Doctor, yeah, like, yeah. I like me yeah. their queen. <laughs> and I see that sometimes they use leeches to help with um, inflammation and for yeah, medicinal yes. purposes. And then it just got me thinking the other day how People can actually be leeches too. They just <laughs> suck things out of you. Now, you know, leeches, there are some leeches, a species of leeches that are yeah. used for good things. But when it comes to human, human. beings as leeches, whew, it's never positive. Oh my God. Mm -mm. Because a leech is a person that literally just sucks life Habitually. out of you. It's, it's a not remote whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. And then you find out that there are people in relationships mm -hmm. with leeches. And I'm like, how, how are you coping? Exactly. Help. How are you managing? Help, I'm dating a leech. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you coping? And it just, yeah. I was just like, okay, you know what? Let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. How do you actually identify a partner or a person that is a leech? Well, I think a leech is someone who has no problem with taking and taking and taking and taking and has no thought of, oh, what am I giving back? Mm -hmm. You see, it's all about me, which also kind of lines with being selfish generally. So they just yeah. take for their own greater good. They just take and take and take and don't even once think of, oh, let me give back. Or if they do give back, it's very little compared to what they're taking. That's mm -hmm. what I think. Okay, saying. yeah, I agree with what Victoria said. But I want us to think about different kinds of leeches we have okay you know we have the financial leech we have emotional <laughs> leech <laughs> and we have productivity leech okay oh okay. yes yes if you're in uh, in a workspace yeah. and you're working like well, co-workers now yeah and um you're always feeding on my output mm. it's a problem for me because you're not helping me get better i'm always helping you get better in your work you're, mm. but you're not sharing the same thing with me so you're yeah. draining me my productivity, it's draining. And then the um, emotional leeches, this, you can find them in relationships and even yeah. friendship because um, you are not a person of your own. You depend on me for your emotions. Yeah, you're just... I mean, well, if I'm in a relationship with you, mm -hmm. I should be able to depend on you for some no, level of emotion. A level of it, but... When it's draining... Or do you mean that they're completely dependable? Like their yes. happiness... Depends depend on, on you. you. If you are okay. happy, exactly. I am happy. If you're sad, I have to be sad. Yeah. So I, I end up spending all my life or all my time <laughs> trying to make you happy yeah. or trying to make you, okay, no, I don't want you to be sad because I'm sad. Then I mm. keep forcing things. And I, at the end of the day, I am drained. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then yeah. we have the financial leeches. <laughs> yes, in relationships, in friendships, in the, even in the family, yeah. you find them. Because, okay, you don't have money. If it's a one-time thing, it's different. No problem. Like, okay, I can help you with this mm. finance. But if you come to me all the time, all the time, that, okay, this person is always there for me. Let me ask again. And you're not giving me anything yeah. back. I think it's wrong. Okay, so what would you, if you find yourself in that situation? Um, I'll actually try to identify what they are feeding on first. What kind of leech the person is. If Check your account. If your account is always <laughs> empty, they are feeding on your if, money. For sure. <laughs> I actually read an article yeah. that said something like that. That if you find out that, okay, before I got into a relationship with this person. Yeah. Or a friendship with this person. I was, you know, I was okay financially. I was living and a then, life. And mm. the relationship keeps taking, up, yeah. yeah, three months, six months. You just find out that your finances are going down. Down. The drain. You're not, this person is not just leeching off of you now. They're leeching off of your bank account. Exactly. Which is very, very risky. In this for economy, your health, for your mental so health. In this economy. <laughs> Would you guys say that a leech is also um, a needy person or there's a difference? Like, if I'm dating a leech, mm. would you say it's the same as dating a person that is needy? Yes, actually. A needy person needs you. <laughs> so a needy person needs you. They constantly need, is it, whether it's validation or emotional support or financial support, 
different kinds of things. They need now. You, you said you said constantly. Constantly, exactly. That's where that's where it is different. Oh, you say it's different. It's different. I think it's the same. It's very thin line, actually. <laughs> very thin line. When you need me, mm -hmm. we we'll always need people. Yeah, no man sure. is an island, yeah. so you always need people for something, one thing or, or the other. Mm -hmm. But if it's constant, like you said, mm -hmm. that's where it becomes leeching. Like feeding off that okay. person. I think if it's constant yeah. and they're not doing anything, anything in return, you, okay. it's always about you give me, you give me. Because I read this, I read this story about this lady mm. that was in a relationship with a guy for four years. When okay. they met, the guy was he was doing okay for himself, and when they'll go out on dates, yeah, he'll pay. In the beginning, maybe he paid once or twice. And mm -hmm. then after they met and he saw that, you know, she was doing really, she was doing way well, better yeah. than him. He said he wanted to quit his job and focus on his passion. That And then she wanted to support him. And mm -hmm. she was like, yeah, sure. Then they moved in together. And she was like, he never picked up any of the any expenses of the anymore. Like, she was, she well, was paying for the rent, don't... paying for everything. Yeah. And then she was like, it wasn't like this in the beginning. So... Is it that is a leech or is just needy at this particular point you, of his life? You know, I understand it as in life, once you make someone comfortable, yeah. then they become needy. Or, yeah, once you make someone comfortable, then they become needy. If we start dating, mm -hmm. right? If we start dating and I'm constantly giving you whatever you ask for, I'm readily available for you in all aspects of it, then you will become needy eventually. No, I don't think it's when you make someone comfortable. No. If you keep, if you keep indulging the person. No, never no, you indulge it. Indulge People like making them freebies. Comfortable. I mean, they call leeches free. But you, you, know you as a person, you know that this thing is, is hurting you already. It's draining you. You, you, know, you should look for a time to say no. I want, to, I want to look at it from a different angle. Yes, well, right now, everything is based on our outlook and stuff. But what if you are the leech in your relationship, yeah. or in your friendship, or in that, your family? Yes. You know, it's very important in life. In life whatever not. you do, it's very important. <laughs> it's very important to look inward and analyze. Like, am I a leech? No, but how would you do know I, you're a leech? Well, exactly. that's where that's where you basically scold yourself. You know, it's always easy to point out at someone that you're doing this and this, but it's never easy to point at yourself. That's where you now sit down and like, okay, my relationship. Do I take more than I give? In my family, do I take more than I, I give? What is my contribution? I don't do I come across as a leech? Sorry, mm -hmm. do I come across as a leech mm -hmm. to people? A leech cannot do that because a leech is naturally self -centered. Yes, it's, an, it's a habit. You need to, you need to, you it's actually a habit need to have already. a no, no, sense no. of self-awareness to be able to say, oh, am I doing this? I mean, for example, I, to, I know mm -hmm. I'm not a leech, but yeah. it took me a long time to get to a point where I started practicing self-awareness, like consciousness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I a naturally defensive person? Mm -hmm. Do I care what people say? And yeah. things like that. And I'm not even a leech. Yeah. A leech is only concerned <laughs> but about But when a leech doesn't care what people say, I'm pretty sure every they single... Don't. They, no, they, they don't! No! They don't! Listen, listen, to, listen to my point. <laughs> okay, my thing is... Elites is very self-aware because they know, okay, I would say they're self-aware because you know, okay, I need to do this. I feel like this. I, I need mean, to do this. No, no, no. That's why they're calculating. And, 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 yeah. and also, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> sorry. It's okay. It's okay. And also, if I'm pretty sure a leech was cut off one or two times or three times, it's or someone pointed it out. Off. So exactly where I'm going you at. think about it and mm -hmm. be like, okay, I'm actually a leech. Uh, in addition to what Esther said earlier that uh, you, you are, um, to, for you to be, for you to know that you're a leech, you need to be self-aware. Yeah. You need to be conscious about it. When you're a leech, it gets to a point that you're not even conscious of asking people. It just comes to you. So it's like That's a demon right. that possesses I, you. I, I can like, put it that way because you would not <laughs> even think about it. That. Anytime you need something like this, you go to the person that is always giving yeah. it to you. So I want to ask: um, What if you find out that someone really dear to you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm really close to you i don't want to say family member but let's say someone you know how that there are some people that you're not related to by yeah. blood but you feel that way about them mm -hmm. what if that person is a leech how would you undo that situation basically <laughs> cut down on freebies i'll cut down on the things that i give you no i don't Definitely. i won't do that out I, I won't i won't okay now that's what <laughs> i would do i wouldn't tell you to your face that yes you are a leech no I would just slowly start backing up and cutting down on the allowance I basically give you. Not <laughs> money me. or just like the space that I give you in my life, whether it's emotional, financial, whatever. I would cut back on it and be like, okay, if you have a brain, you would realize that. I'm this tired. reminds me of a story I read on Reddit. Yeah. There's this guy that has a girlfriend. He's always helping out with stuff. 
giving her money. Yeah. Okay, you need this. You need to make your hair. You need to yeah, get give this. me money. <laughs> yes, he's always doing that for his girlfriend. Money. Yeah. But he tried to set the babe up mm. to have a business of her own. That's nice. To work so that at least you can stand on you. You can be your own person without always asking me for money. But she didn't want to do it. Like she was not interested in working or having yeah. a business at all. So at that point, I'll know that no, yeah. you are a leech yeah. and you don't want to work for yourself. You don't want to earn your own money. And that is when I try to cut you off. Okay, I have a question. Sorry. Mm. Oh, okay. Let's say you get married, yeah? yeah. And um, you have kids and your husband is like, okay, uh, one of us needs to stay home with this child and blah, blah, blah. So you as a woman has needs. You have needs, right? You mm -hmm. need to get this and this and this. Yeah. Would you call her a leech if she takes advantage of it to some extent? I mean, you told her to quit her job. So would you call her a leech? No. Okay. I feel like I feel like <laughs> when you're married, it's a different, a different thing entirely. entirely. Yeah. Damn real responsibility. Uh, no, it's just that marriage <laughs> is all about give and take. It's mm. also about sacrifice. Fair enough. Okay. It doesn't so, have to yeah, be the same thing you're giving it back. Doesn't, yeah. It doesn't. You it don't doesn't have to count. say, okay, because you're giving me money to do this, I have to give you money in return. Mm -hmm. Because she's staying at home to take care of the kids, she's doing something in return. Okay, so it's, fair enough. Exchange. Even if she's taking advantage of it, she's not a taking leech. advantage of it. In what sense? No. Taking advantage of it. Oh, I. Do, he. He made me quit my job. He doesn't want the kids to go to childcare. So I might as well live my best life. Demand for everything I if want. If she wants it, she gets it. Would you? Would you guys stay friends with somebody that every time you go out, the person is never paying the bills? No. no. You're the one speaking. <laughs> exactly. No. No. No, okay. no way. Which is very interesting because I read this article on Mind of Still about this lady that was in a relationship with this guy yeah. and every time she would go out with the guy and her friends, she would be the one responsible for paying the bills for both of them. Eventually, she broke up with the guy mm -hmm. and get this, he actually stole all of her friends. <laughs> so would That's you guys would you guys agree that leeches can actually be manipulators? Yes, very true. yes, very yes, true. I agree. Very so true. would you say that in a way, them being a leech is psychological? Well, or yeah. do you think it's just who they no, are? no, I wouldn't say it's psychological because some people are intentional about it. They they sit and they're like, Okay, how can I benefit from this person? Well, that's, that's what, what I was saying yeah, earlier. Yeah, do you think they can't it, help themselves? They can't help themselves. I just need to oh, That's what I said earlier no, that they're even unconscious that okay, they can't help it. It just it just comes okay, to them. Okay, let me go to this person to ask for this thing I because like they're always you there can for you me. can definitely help yourself. Because funny thing is leeches are not always unemployed and you find leeches that are actually employed. They make yeah. their own money. Yeah. Yeah. But just yes. to use their own money is a problem. So they're like, okay, I have money in the bank, but I don't want to use my money. Let me use someone else's head. money. That is an intentional <laughs> decision to actually go out and make I take someone else's money. So I wouldn't say it's a psychological thing. It's a thing. problem because why would you have your own money? You are working for your own money. You have your money sitting in your bank so account. So let, me, let me give you an but example. You rather let spend me somebody you, else's let money. Let me give you a very personal example. Right now, I have my own money in my account. But if a bill comes... Up, my husband, you will pay because it's, it's, it's always better when it's someone else. So, so you're part of the food that say, I okay, mean, no, your money is exactly our money. No, yeah, your money is our money. You're, you no. have to be intentional about your it. Your husband will pay, fine, but the difference is you are not leeching off of him. That's the difference. Are you doing that? I, I am not. No, 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 no. You guys are not understanding me. I'm not saying I'm leeching off of him, but I'm saying that I said it's intentional. People, some people do it intentionally. You have your own money, but you still choose. You make that decision. That that's not what. That's not what a leech is. A leech is someone that is always taking. Oh, you guys are, are saying you it's not. Taking no, you guys, no, 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 no. I gave this example to show that people make that intentional decision. It's no, not just okay. a psychological okay, thing in their okay, head. Okay, that's okay, what yeah. I'm trying to explain. Okay, so um. In wrapping up, I just want to say that I have found, found myself in this situation one, two, three, many times. Like, Who leeched off you? I would say, oh, did you for me, say the name. For me, it was not so much a continuous thing yeah. because okay. I can always sense it. I mm. would always say it. I'm naturally drawn to kind people mm. and I'm always a give and take person. And usually, I'll make sure it's the other person that makes the first move. Mm. Like, I want to see how you operate yeah. and that's how I would operate. So, there's this person that or this friend that every time it's the person's birthday or the person is having an event or something, I was always, like, I would always show up for this person. I'll give the person gifts, all yeah. of that. When is my birthday? When maybe I have something to do? All I'll be hearing is excuses. Mm -hmm. When I want to turn the person down, the person will always make me feel some type kind of, of way. way. Yeah. 
And I just started to I I just started to pick up on it. This particular person, like, is never about me. Mm. It's always about the you. person, yeah. what mm. I can do for the person, mm. what the person can get the out of the relationship. You. And I don't want to I don't want to be in a relationship like that. And I don't think anybody should it's be not in a relationship yeah, like that. So if you're asking yourself, do I have a friend or a partner that is a leech? Mm -hmm. The major question is: Is this person curiously? selfish yeah. their selfishness is on a very high, high level, level. <laughs> but Run. sister please cut Run. them, Run. Run. Cut them Run. up Run. immediately messilessly Run. just <laughs> yeah Definitely. do you guys have anything else to say you know for me else? i'm all about self reflection looking in at most times because whatever resolve you have in your head is basically what you exude to the yeah. public so be self-aware if you know ah this person, I've been collecting, collecting. I'm not doing anything. I'm sure that person is your leech. So just yeah. leech yourself. And you I'm as a person, sure. if you yeah. feel that somebody is leeching off you, know when to always say no. Yeah. Not True. yes, always. It's not going to hurt you because you don't have to give anymore. You know, we have so and many yes crime. men out there that are scared to hurt people's feelings. We do. Feelings. There's nothing Sometimes wrong with you that need to hurt people's yeah. feelings, for very sure. Well, thank you very much for staying with us. Do stay with us. We have more coming up. And please keep the conversation going. If you've ever experienced this, please tell us in the comment section. We want to learn. We want to experience everything from you. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, the Time family. And I hope that you've been having a lot of fun on the show. You just sit back. There's a lot more on our plate to serve you. Before we went on the break, we were talking about partners being leeches, friends, family, anybody being leeches. Do you have a leech in your, in your circle or you are the leech in your circle? Mm -hmm. I really want to know about that. Esther, are you a leech? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a leech, please. Oh. Okay, okay. Moving on and yeah. to the next segment, which is for the ladies in the house. Hey, sis. Hey, hey sis. sis. Ladies, I was on um, the Women Power page some minutes back, yeah. and I read um, from this uh, psychologist in Atlanta, Mary Gresham. She said, women who are not independent have the tendency to get addicted or to be spoiled when it comes to other people's stuff. So I was thinking, I, I could not really place my hand on it, but at the end of the day, I think it is true. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm going to ask you guys, that, what do you think about that statement? I think it's true. Okay. You know, when, when you're not working, or let me, let me be specific now career-wise, if you're not working for your own income and everything comes on its own, there's a sense of entitlement that comes with it because you're like, okay, I can get this if I want. Hmm. I should get that. There's a sense of entitlement that comes with it. Esther, what do you think about that? I mean, I like that? the fact that you said there's a, a sense, sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. There's a, a sense of entitlement. Because it doesn't necessarily mean that the fact that, you know, I'm not working for my own money, mm -hmm. I'm going to be entitled to somebody else's money. Yeah. yeah. I could equally be a contented person because I'm living this life. Someone is giving me money or someone is paying me money monthly to just be me. I could be contented and say, you know what, I'm grateful. I don't have to work for money and I'm living a good life. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be like, oh, I want... Because what our statement said is you getting addicted, addicted to other, other people's stuff. stuff. No, yes. Yeah. I could live a contented life. I don't need to say, oh, I want what that other person Okay, Victoria, has. I want to go very personal with you now as a married woman here. <laughs> In your marriage, um, do you wow. get addicted to your husband's stuff? Maybe it's money. My husband's stuff is my stuff. Okay, <laughs> but your own stuff, is it his stuff? Okay, that's where we differ. I always, I always make this joke at home. I'm like, your money is my money. My money is my money. <laughs> but um, I wouldn't say I get addicted to his stuff because generally, I believe I'm generally a very independent lady. Like, I will find a hustle wherever. Hmm. I can find a hustle just to make my own money. Even though I know, okay, yes, I can get this from him. I know yeah. that that's always going to be a possibility. But I just take pride in being able to generate an income for myself. It mm. gives me a sense of belonging, yes. so to say. A lot of pride. And believe it or not, socially, you get a lot of respect 
for being independent. Exactly, yeah. I agree with you. Because Definitely. if I'm making my own money as a woman, yeah. I can make my own decisions myself. Yeah. I don't have to wait for you. That, okay, yeah. Yeah, give me this money. You're I not need answerable this. to and anyone. And this reminds me, I have a doctor friend. Yeah. He reached out to me one day that, okay, he was at work, and this woman came in with her daughter mm. for health stuff, of yeah. course. <laughs> and um, every, every step that he was saying, okay, ma, you need this, you need that, mm. she'd be like, let me call my husband. Now, wow. Let me call my husband. And he was irritated. My friend is, is a man. He yeah. was irritated. Why do you have to call your husband every minute? For every Don't you have your own money? Even if you're, not, you're going to ask he him actually later. He yeah. that to her. No, no, he was ranting to oh, me. Okay. <laughs> he was, he was ranting. <laughs> okay, even if you're going to ask him later, mm. spend it right there and then. I mean, you know, yeah, money is total freedom. Exactly. I read I read this quote by Claire Boutelou. She said, a woman's best protection is mm. a little money of her own. Hmm. Exactly. And, I mean, coming to Africa, or not just Africa, everywhere in the Worldwide. world, mm. when a woman is heavily dependent on yeah. a man, and by yeah. a man, I mean um, a partner <laughs> or a husband, yeah. ooh, it could... It could be good because mm. there are people that are good like that, mm. but it could also lead to a whole lot of things, you know, physical abuse, emotional exactly, abuse. Exactly, exactly. I, I, I that's think like a really good word to use is security. It gives you the security you need because you know whether I have this person in my life or not, I am sorted. I'm, I'm all good. That's just how it is. So, so th this begs the question: Does actually because we're, we've been talking about finance, you have your own money, you'll be able to make decisions for yourself, respect, and all that. But is it that it is money that actually um, defines independence? No, not at all. Not at all. I, um, okay. A sense of <laughs> I've said this before, and I'm pretty sure I've said it to you guys before. There's a level of maturity when you reach a level of maturity, and you're able to make very reasonable decisions when you think when your mind is tuned okay mm. long term this would benefit me and blah 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 yeah. blah i feel like that makes you very independent where you're able to make decisions for yourself no one like you don't need any contribution from anyone mm. you don't need any validation from anyone but you just know what path you're on and you're actually making strides towards it, it okay if, if you're seeking opinions if you have like uh, um different things to choose from yeah. and you're seeking opinions from maybe your friend mm. okay what do i do do i pick this does that mean you're not independent no 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 of no, course no, 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 no of course of not. course not the fact okay. that you you're asking people for their opinion doesn't mean you're not independent yeah. sometimes you just want another set of eyes on a particular thing yeah. and then on your question does money equate independence mm. yeah not necessarily, but like she said, you know, money gives you security. And I believe mm. that as a woman, mm. you should be seeking long-term financial yeah. goals, regardless yeah. of your husband, your kids. It doesn't mean that you have issues with your husband yeah. or anything. Mm -hmm. Just as a person, just for your own safety mm. net, like... Okay, let me have my own money. Let me be able to make independent decisions on my own. But having money or... Not having money doesn't mean that you're not in All right, marriage. let's take it back to marriage now. There are lots of women in different marriages and maybe relationships, self that. No, yeah. They have husbands that are kind of controlling. Mm. Even mm. if you, as a woman, you have your own money, mm. you're, there, you're living large and all that, but he, you're still not free. He controls that, how you spend Yes, that, the, the sense of freedom is not there at yeah. all. Well, Would you find yourself in that situation where you're not free because you, know, you have your own money? Um, now, let me give you guys a story, actually. I know this person. Um, they were dating for two years. The relationship was beautiful. Mm. Heading, like leading, months leading to the wedding, he started with little comments like, when we get married, um, we should only have a shared account. Like he would have his private, yeah. but then her account would be, should become their shared account. Mm. And I was like, um, okay. And then he would make comments about um, her career, yeah. like where he expects her to work, where she, places she should apply to, to and whatnot. So in my head, I'm like, okay, this girl is very brilliant. So was, is he, it, was he making more money than, than her? She, Funny thing is, they both work in a bank. Okay. They both work in a bank, but, but I'm just not sure about. Of, I'm not sure about the position. Okay. I would say, but she was actually doing very good for herself. Mm. But the types of jobs he was busy sending, like sending her to apply for, were on lower like ranking compared to where she was right Ooh. now. So in my mm. head, I'm like, this guy literally doesn't want you to make as much money as he does. He's very. He's trying to be controlling. And I pointed those red flags out to her. But you know, love makes you blind. And he stopped talking to me up until the wedding came and left. Like we're, we're good now. Mm. But that's the thing. When it comes to marriage, you you would notice those red flags before him, especially I, around the engagement process. You would know, like you. Would you want to something, yeah. Esther? Please do. I mean, 
it's you know it's a bit tricky to speak on this subject because you know the person yeah however i have had a various circumstances of spouses being in competition with, with each other. other exactly like yeah. you don't want your spouse to be better than you, you. so you're not willing to contribute <laughs> yeah. or give emotional support or whatever support <laughs> yes. to their yeah. career goals very true and for me yeah that should be like a massive red flag but i would say that there are various women and mm. men in relationships where one partner is actually making more, more money, money yeah. than, than the other, other and they are living well because as far as i'm concerned who it takes a whole <laughs> level of strength yes and yeah. mental discipline to treat your partner as an equal when you're making more money than exactly. them or when they are heavily dependent on you and not rub it in their exactly. faces exactly gosh that brings I, 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 I want to you. ask a question actually but i'll actually ask at the end of the break because we have to go on a short break now yeah. please don't go anywhere it's still hey sis hey, hey sis, sis. Welcome back, family. Before we went on break, we were talking about being independent. What does it mean, actually? So I said I was going to ask a question when we come back from the break. So, guys, I want to know, yeah. personally, individually, yeah. what does independence, being independent, mean to you? Yeah, independence. It's a very broad word. Mm. So, obviously, the first thing that comes to mind is financially, making your own money. Yeah. But to me, it, it goes a little deeper. Making your own decisions, being able to stand alone, mm -hmm. um, paving a way for yourself to not only financial freedom, there's, I don't know, freedom of, freedom of your mind, yeah. basically. Being able to allow yourself to explore different things without being answerable to, to anyone. Anybody. Exactly. Okay, okay. Victoria has shared her own. Esther, please. I would say um, being independent means, you know, yeah, financial freedom, but also um, emotional strength. Yes. Um, I would say um, a high level of strength in decision making too mm. for yourself. Plans for your future, especially long term plans. And just, yeah. you know, being all well rounded and well grounded in who you are as a person, independent of external factors, external mm. opinions, mm. like just independent of every other person, who you are yeah. as a person, yeah. having the capability to make decisions on, on your, your own. own. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've had situations where um, men, in this case, I want to bring it from the angle of men now. They don't want their wives or their girlfriends to make more money mm. than them. For sure. Because they feel that you will not be, um, you will not submit, you will not be submissive to them. <laughs> Funny story. Please share. Absolutely. Because I've heard a lot of stories and it's really, it bothers <laughs> me. That is actually a problem we have these days. I was listening to the radio um, on my way to work one day. Yeah. And they asked the question, would you allow your daughter pay your daughter is married yes and would you allow her pay house rent how the house rent if her husband makes less money and one man called in and said that this this problem could have been avoided that is why when i was to marry my wife i made sure i married a nurse because i know she would not make as much money as i would oh my god that's he actually so said that on radio so you can tell that this well i, I, hope I, I want to call it a pandemic that. i mean i, I hope, hope she doesn't not. hear that but it's, a, it's an actual pandemic especially i would personally speak from africa because i'm african and i've seen it happen where men would marry you because of your... Sometimes they, they even prefer marrying uneducated ladies because they know there's no They won't be able way. to say anything. Exactly. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I, I think, agree. I think the problem can be traced back to ugh, years, thousands of years yeah. ago because men have largely be, been seen as the superior person, the superior being, and women are supposed to be lesser beings to them. That mentality is still enshrined in society to today. Definitely. And because of that, a lot of men believe that you know, I should make more money than my woman because, mm. I mean, money is power. So if I make more money than my woman, yeah. then I have power over. If she makes more money than me, then she has power over me. Mm -hmm. So me, I would say as a it's woman, a hey, sis, have your own money. Yes, please. Definitely. Make your own decisions. Don't wait for any man to say, okay, this is what you have to do. This but is the career path I'm, you have to choose. I'm curious, guys. We've been talking about how the woman... Um, how the men want women to earn less and whatnot. What if the man actually wants his wife to be independent, but she is refusing to work? Mm -hmm. What do you do now? Because I read an article on <laughs> oh, Cora, and he said that I want my wife to be independent, but she has refused to get a job. And mind you, they don't even have kids. What do you do then? He <laughs> wants you to be independent, but you but want... I feel like it depends on the conversations they had up to their marriage. marriage. Yeah. Because some people, prior to marriage, like, okay, you know what, you're going to be a mm -hmm. housewife. 
and she walks into the marriage be like okay yeah that's what i want to do and then i marry you and you're like you want me to go get a job then when you were working be before you got married well probably you don't know you, if she was working you, exactly or not. i've read so many stories so i was on snapchat and mm. there are people that their job is a What's the word when you're earning from your father? I, I can't remember the word they use, but she's a, a baby girl. She's a, she's <laughs> she's a, a what? They use the word for it. Gosh, I can't remember. She's any okay. that a job is to spend a dad's money. money. So if I'm spending my dad's money and you mm. come to me, you want to marry me, and then if we eventually get married and you are telling me to come and walk. Hey, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. No. <laughs> it's not going exactly. to work. So, but, but I, actually, I, I want to, I want to ask possible. you guys, yeah. what, what do you but, think about women, independent women in the society, your immediate society? <sighs> the face, the face of society is changing, and okay. I am actually very happy because women. They say women are the future. Women are taking the world. And it's, 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 it gives me a lot of pride to see a lot of women like taking up office um, yes women in high places yeah. women speaking up just speaking up alone yeah like when someone wrongs you or harasses you or whatever you speak up there's no longer this societal fear of no i can't say anything and blah 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 women actually have both <laughs> so to say you, you so, know yeah. there's this saying that a man is the head of the family so this is it changing the narrative now that no, women no, no, are no, becoming no, no, the no, head no. you need no. the neck <laughs> to turn the head so i am I like proud that. neck because you are the one that controls the <laughs> exactly. head. If you want to turn like this, the head neck has to turn you. The neck has to turn you. You're on your own. Exactly. Exactly. I would say that I'm super proud of the change in you know society right now. That you know women are like she said, women are taking up spaces. They're doing fantastic, amazing things. Women are starting up companies, powerhouses, mm -hmm. and that's to be much appreciated yeah. compared with the times when you know they had to be quiet and hush hush. Now we we're also, we're also raising new generations of mm. women that are coming to their prime yes like, you know there's taking control exactly, exactly. The starting of who they are and i'm just i'm just looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the next couple of years and i think and men are scared now space. men are shivering now <laughs> take up space take up space <laughs> finish the oxygen so to say <laughs> that's what i finish the oxygen please so i read something that says that money control is the most common form of emotional manipulations hmm. in relationships. And I was thinking to myself, hmm. would you say that the major, asides maybe, um, would I say, um, when a man cheats on his wife, yeah. yes. would you say that the next major cause of, you know, domestic hmm. violence is as a result of, you know, money? Money, and I would attach stability to it. I mean, a lot of times we see women staying because uh, we see women staying because they have to. If they leave, what, where will they start? And they have kids. How will the kids eat? You see. And will I be this comfortable if I leave? You know, yeah. you think about all those things. So yeah, yeah. I definitely. Yeah. Agree so what do you do about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what what do you think about? Um, what do you think we can do to help women that are not there yet in, the, in terms of being independent? Yeah. How do you think we can empower them to stand their own ground, to be independent, to not be dependent on any man or anybody outside? Keep talking. That's, <laughs> that's the only thing. Get the word out. Give examples. I know whenever I see a woman doing amazing things out there, I look up to them and I'm like, I will be there one day. Well, I want well, to Would be you that. tell her to go against her husband in some decisions? You know, if the husband says A and she's, she wants B for herself, her desire so is for me, B. There's Would something you I fear in this world. Mm -hmm. Sorry, there's something I fear, which is going back home feeling unfulfilled. Hmm. And I wish that on, I do not wish that not on any lady. I'm just going back, I'm just living a life. Of living a, a yeah, yeah, a lot, of women, a lot of women out there living in fear. I would say that, you know, to empower women, yeah. if, if you want to talk to me personally, please feel free to talk to me. Yeah. I'm the type of person that I like to encourage my friends. If you, if you look beautiful, I'll say you look beautiful. Yeah. The thing is, if you're not doing a job and you want to work, I would say start a business. It might seem like, oh, start a business. Yes. There's, so, it, there, there's little businesses it's that's just cooking tricky. food. No, he needs like, capital to start it and he has the capital. It's exactly. What, what are you doing that sense? Start small. Start small. You don't have you, the small money. You need to. You've you need been to dependent you all your life. You've been dependent on this person all your life. Now you want to start a small business. You well, have to start the person. I would say that if you've been if you've been if you've been dependent on him mm. all your life, he's giving you a little bit money for the house yeah. or feeding. Pocket some. You should. Yeah, I would say yeah. Pocket some. Feel that money. Some aside. Yeah. All right, all right. This is actually a very yeah, very money, interesting to topic, and I know that there's. That a lot of women out there that yeah. are struggling to yeah. be independent. Please, sister, 
my sister, try as much as possible to be independent. Mm. Do not choose violence. Just talk things through. Talk with your husband, your partner, or anybody that is depriving you of that stand mm -hmm. of your yeah. own, please. Elsa, do you have anything to say to would, our ladies? I would say that, first and foremost, as a woman, establish who you are. Yes. Yeah. And sure. then every other thing will follow course. Yeah. Victoria, what about you? Uh, for me, it's, it's a simple one-liner. Make sure you're fulfilled in life. That's the only thing that would definitely bring you joy. If you're happy internally, it will exude on the outside. And yeah. sisters, please speak up. Always speak up. Do not take things yeah. inside because it's going to kill you. It's going to hurt you. So this brings us to the end of this segment. Hey, sis. Do hey, not go sis. anywhere. We still have a lot hey, of fun in hey, place sis. for you. We'll be right back. Hey, sis. <laughs> Welcome back, The Time family. I hope you guys are still doing good. And the reason I started shouting is because it's fun o'clock. It's fun o'clock! <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, um, obviously, this is the time that we get to chill, mm -hmm. talk about the dumbest things, <laughs> laugh, and blah, blah, blah. But it, this is the time for the game. Are you guys ready? Ready. I was, I was ready. ready. Okay. Before, before I even start, you know, in the fifth grade, I, I, I actually started writing poetry in the fifth grade. Mm. And I would, be, I would find myself dazing off in class and <laughs> thinking of words that rhyme. You know, you want to say, I want to see who, 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 or I want to see you and be you. You know, things that rhyme, that flow. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you guys a word. And you have five seconds. To at least name, let me let me be easy on you guys. Let me to to rhyme, find words that rhyme with the word I'm gonna give you. At least five. Okay. At five, least seconds. five. Five yes. seconds. Yes. Five five seconds. So one second for one word. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Are you guys ready? Okay. Oh, let me make it easy. Let me at least say three. But three is a little easy. But we'll start with three. Should we pick a number one to ten? Wait me. <laughs> Four. You're in the hot seat. Four. Yes. Your word is battery. Flattery. Battery. Uh, yeah. I'm, I started oh, oh, already. Oh, yeah. I didn't start counting. Okay, please start. Flattery. Itri. Statutory. Stationary. What's that? Tags up. Okay, well done. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. Okay, Esther. Pick a word. Uh, number one. Silver. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> your word is silver. silver. <laughs> okay, your time starts. I don't know any word that rhymes with silver. No. Esther, think. Silver. Silver. Honestly, I can't. There's think. literally a word in silver that you can use. Lever. Thank you. Bomber. <laughs> silver. Okay, yeah. Lever. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Div Div oh, oh. Diva. <laughs> the lever. Oh, exactly. Now you're just Now you're just no, I it. thought it has to be, this, you know, E-R. Uh, E-R. Right. <laughs> no, because e she went... <laughs> Um, flattery, then she went up to stationary. So it, it was just the ending. And, oh, okay. So okay. I thought it was just, you know, it's supposed to be the two. Oh, no, no, no. It no, just, just needs to be the end. Yeah. All right. Pick. One and four is out. Okay, and we have how many? Ten. Um, you have ten. Okay, I'll pick eight. Eight. Green. Oh, wow. Okay. Green. Green. <laughs> Sin. Lean. Bean. In <laughs> I feel like she was just playing with her tongue. Exactly. Like, 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 anything that comes out, I'm going to say it. Well done. Okay. I think you should join me in my poetry like, like writing Please. sessions. Please. I'm All up right. for it. Esther, pick. Oh, One, no. four, I eight. I'm not here gone. anymore. <laughs> pick, pick a number. Number two. Number two. Kick. This should Kick. be easy. Lick. Sick. Beak. Don't say it. <laughs> Is gone. Uh, so six. Six. Drum. Drum. Um. Num. Uh, um. Yes, now hum. H U M. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hum. Num. Cum. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I but, just yeah, I was, was that was why I said cum. <laughs> oh, cum. <laughs> I love the cum. emphasis on C O M E. <laughs> I'm that okay. innocent. C-O-M-E. Okay. All right. Fair, uh, fair enough. Number Esther. 10. 
Number 10, C. You better get this. What? C. Like ocean, C, the C. Okay, C. C. Uh -huh. B. Uh-huh. Esther. I said C. Yeah, B. Yeah, continue. continue. Dream. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I said C. B. Lee. Lee was Lee. Lee. Why is Lee? Lee. Why is Lee? Lee. Yeah, you don't know Lee. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Shuba me. Let's go. Last okay. round. Yeah, you only need to give me two. Okay. What number is left? Um... Okay, you have three, you have five, um, you have seven. Let's go five. Five, okay. Kettle. Kettle, settle, rattle. <laughs> Beto. <laughs> What's Beto? I don't know. Exactly. Fair. Okay. <laughs> she said two, I gave her two. No, you're leading. Esther, Esther. Oh, she leading. Esther yes. has been losing. Yes. Number Proudly <laughs> losing. <laughs> Number three, I guess. Number three, wipe. 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 Mm -hmm. Um... Drape. What? You said it's Why? supposed to be the ending. Oh. It's the PE we're thinking about okay. now. That was what you said. Okay, okay continue, continue. Don't be Wipe. Pipe. Kipe. Huh? Okay, kipe. Okay. 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 Nipe. Let me put it out of it. I get Quipe. it. Quipe. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. All right. What drugs? The winner. The winner by default is Thank Shubami. Thank you. Wow. Wow. amazing show thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for always being here and just it's always educating fun. me please guys You're welcome. watch out for the next episode because we definitely won't disappoint you bye for now